the future of interactive AI is one that is all encompassing. Artists really engage us with difficult subjects and they do reflect like early warning systems in terms of what is at stake. Hi, I'm Daniel Sauter. In 50 years from now, artists will think about control along the lines of the structures that we have adopted. In part three, we explore the future of art and technology. I think artists will be more empowered to create change in the future. I think the, what has to happen though, is we need those folks that are in those positions to be really thinking critically and using their platforms to speak about issues in a way that will create change and not just kind of perpetuating pre-existing structures of domination. I've always been convinced that simple answers to simple questions are not acceptable. Talking about a society of control is a good question. In 50 years, the question will be, will anybody wonder about freedom of speech, about control, about surveillance? Will this be something that is accepted by everybody? So I think what I want art to be in 50 years is for it to be unrecognizable. Like I want it to be so different from what we have today, art, which is less about categories and more about this unique kind of feelings we have, which we can't express in words. One of the biggest challenges as a studio we are tackling right now is quantum computing. For our upcoming project, we are trying to create two projects. One is called Quantum Dreams, the other is Quantum Memories. So both projects is speculating what will happen in the near future when quantum computing becomes an absolute ground truth for research and science. And eventually I think there will be this question of like, like who will define what is real? What's next for me as an artist is using technology to solve problems that black people have faced for centuries. And that problem is white supremacy. That's gonna take the form of being 1.5. It's a bit of a mix of a virtual therapist, a life coach, meditation supporter. What the artist does is actually bringing another reading and another form of expression in society. Maybe art will remain one of the last place of freedom if it's not totally absorbed by the market. I think we have an opportunity now that we're connected to make work that impacts the planet on a broad scale where we all benefit. And it's not just a financial gain, but it's a, it's a gain of preservation of our planet and persistence of our autonomy. I think eventually we will be playing with reality as a material. And most probably will happen is we will be able to touch our memories. We will be able to like reconstruct our dreams. And eventually we will be able to like, I mean, learn and dream and remember at the same time. Art has always been and will always be a part of humanity because art is humanity's capacity of imagination. As long as we don't stop imagination, art will always remain and become always functional and has a structure in society. The future of interactive AI will be ubiquitous and always on. We need to understand the economics and incentive structures behind those digital technologies to then say and make decisions about where to change your own behavior with that consumption. Artists do need to collaborate with policymakers, with social sciences, in order to really address the most pressing issues of our time. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology. Mm -hmm.